everybody would know if Kennedy Sorority has a good time. You know, we, we do a great job of advertising that part. But they probably don't realize the hundreds of thousands of dollars this, this uh, fraternity and sorority community raises every year for philanthropy or the thousands and thousands of hours they do for service and you know, just the amazing stories of, of some of the members. Um, it's an amendment to the university recognition policy. Okay. Um, so. How did this all come about? I think I think for a few years it was kind of um, in the minds of administrators. What they did is they created a an amendment that will go into the university's recognition policy. So in order to be recognized by the university, to be in good standing with the university, you have to abide by uh, the amendment. So the amendment has three very specific bullet points. Um, the first is that alcohol and other drugs will not be used in any form of recruitment, um, new member education, or intake. Um, the second point is that ha there's no place for hazing in the Greek system. And the third point is that the, uh, the time period for new member education, typically called the pledge period, um, will be looked at again in an effort to sort of shorten it and make it more manageable. I think the general sentiment is that it's, it's annoying, it's something that we have to adjust to. Um, but most people have kind of realized that it's going to happen. It's already been voted on. It's in the recognition policy as of October 29th when the Board of Trustees convened to, to vote on it. So it's going to happen. It's now a matter of if you want your fraternity to exist, and if you want to be able to c continue to recruit and you know have the fraternity experience, you're going to have to comply with the rules. I mean, I, I don't think it's going to stop underage drinking at all. I mean, I think there will be more, like those that don't join the Greek system, will go off to college down to drink, you know, um, or just more drinking in the dorms even. My understanding is now freshmen can't go to like any open parties in the fall, yeah. which is, I think is a shame kind of because that's what you, like that's part of, I don't know, how I see the freshman experience. Because a lot of people are afraid that the drinking is just going to go off campus. Um, but as long as we're monitoring it, I don't think that it really will. Uh, the majority of the people who do go through intake are under 21, so alcohol shouldn't be a part of their process anyway. Um, and I also believe that having a dry recruitment period is more beneficial uh, to be more um, values-based recruitment. It's not just about the partying, it's not just about the social scene, it's really about what your house is about. This is what we call our Hall of Fame. Basically, we owe more until we won in the past. Um, then we have pictures of our brothers, starting with our founding brothers. Upperclassmen have a great deal of influence over our freshman class. If they're saying, you know, look, you can come to our house and hang out, we're not going to drink, they'll still come. They play a major role in, in whether this, this will have a smooth transition or if it will take, you know, a lot of time. So we want to make sure that um, Greek life has all the positive attributes, you know, of being small residential communities where you make friends and, you know, are supported. Uh, at the same time, it doesn't have some of the negatives. Which the students have come around. I mean, I, I, I think they understand where we're coming from. There haven't been a lot of people who've come forward and, you know, yeah. kind of led the charge to say we, we are in agreement and we think this is great. But we have, like I said before, we have had a number of chapters who have, you know, kind of behind the scenes said to us this, this will actually work really well for us. Perhaps people aren't, you know, fully enthusiastic about it, but people still want to be part of fraternity. And, I mean, at the end of the day, this is this is not going to change the uh, experience so significantly that it's not worth it anymore. Knowing that maybe there's more opportunities for non-alcohol related events could attract people that don't want to drink. Just in five years, our Greek system will still be relevant. People will want to join. People won't be afraid of having to drink to get into an organization. People won't be afraid of getting hazed. People won't be afraid of losing their academics over pledging an entire semester. It's going to be something that people want to be a part of and genuinely be a part of it.